Preparatory work. The installation site should be free from dust. Keep dry and ventilated. Check whether installation tools and terminal accessories are complete. Check whether cable accessories match correctly. Straighten and sew both ends of the cables to be connected. Stripping. Stripping follow with the dimensions of the installation instructions. Peel off the outer sheath, long end 800 mm, short end 450 mm. Leave both ends of steel armor, 30 mm, and peel off the rest. Leave both ends of inner sheath, 80 mm, and peel off the rest. After measuring the length of A plus 80 mm, close up table A, mark it with PVC. Peel off the copper shield. and peel off the semi-conductive layer according to the length of the installation instruction, photo 1A. When peeling the semi-conductive layer, be careful not to hurt the insulation layer. The end of the semi-conductive layer is chamfered with a tour to smooth the transition between the semi-conductive layer and the insulating layer. Sand the surface of the insulation layer with fine sandpaper. Be careful not to polish to the semiconductive layer. Polish the remaining steel armoring surface, outer sheath and inner sheath. Clean the dirt on the surface of the grinding place. At 3 mm to the 1 second length of the connecting pipe and cut off the insulation layer. Remove the burr at the end of the insulation layer and clean the insulation layer of the cable. The carpet net is set on the short end of the strip.
and the coat shrink joint body is set on the long end of the strip according to the pulling direction. See photo two mark. Connecting pipe installation. Insert the connecting pipe and press it. Press it from the middle of the connecting pipe to both sides. After crimping, file the edges and burrs on the joint pipe and clean the joint pipe. Measure the dimensions between the insulated ports. Find the center point and measure 300 mm from the center point to the shorter end of the strip to locate the calibration point and mark it. Coat shrink main body installation. Clean the surface of insulating layer with cleaning paper. And apply silicon paste evenly after the detergent dries. Measure 15 mm backward from the semiconductive layer incision and mark it as the contraction anchor point of the coat shrink main body. Align the main body joint with the contraction anchor point. Put up the support strip to make the main body shrink and immediately calibrate the distance from the center point of the main body joint to the size checkpoint after the joint shrink more than 50%. Wipe off the remaining ends of spilled silicon paste. Wipe off the remaining ends of spilled silicon paste. Wind the copper net around the installed joint body. Fix the grounding wire and the copper net on the copper shielding layer with a constant force spring and wrap PVC tape around the constant force spring. Waterproofing and sealing treatment. Wrap the waterproof tape around the inner sheath of the cable and wrap the waterproof tape from one end of the inner sheath to the other end of the inner sheath with half lap way.
the steel plate at both ends of the cable is connected with a ground wire and fixed with a constant force spring, and PVC tape is wound around the constant force spring. Wrap the grounding wire around the inner waterproof tape with PVC tape. Wrap the filling glue around the cable sheath and the custom force spring to fill the gap. Wrap the waterproof tape from one end of the outer sheath to the other end of the outer sheath with half lap way. The lap 60 millimeters with both ends of the outer sheath respectively. When winding, the direction should be opposite to the inner waterproof tape. Armor strap installation. Wrap the armor belt in half lap way, exceeding the waterproof tab by 50 to 100 millimeters. Secure the end armor strap with PVC. Wait until the armor band has solidified before moving the cable. Installation finish. Clean up the side. Thank you for watching.